Hello everybody. Welcome to Crochet CJ episode number 12. I'm Carla. I live in Oklahoma. I'm a wife, mom, midwife by profession and crazy crocheter the rest of the time. I'm also a born again Christian and I love people enough to tell them that. We'll jump right in with uh, finished objects. Uh, I really only have one because I've been working on my big project. I'm so excited. So I finished my granny square bag. The squares are all made with Red Heart Super Saver. And I started this based on um, Bob Wilson 123 Claire had done the granny square um, hook on Christmas Eve and so I made a couple of bags like she had made and then I was just using up some more scrap yarn and I made some more granny squares because I didn't want to start my sweater yet because I wanted to have full concentration to do that and granny squares are pretty easy right so I made um, 18 granny squares some of them are solid some of them are multi as you can see and then I made the sides and the bottom out of lion brand fettuccine um, okay, that makes this bag really heavy, I mean, considering. Um, and then the handles, I just took the six, six strands of Red Heart Super Saver and chained, and then I single crocheted back along it to make these handles. So, I mean, you know, as a market bag or whatever I guess it'll be fine I don't know I may have to reinforce my handles a little I don't know if they'll hold up but anyway that's my really only finished object for this week that's what happens when you do a weekly podcast you don't sometimes have a lot of stuff done because if your projects take a while or if you're working a lot you know um, works in progress uh, I'm making a hat out of it's out of this uh, Rosetti Allure that I got from Tuesday morning but it's the black and gray and white and for the life of me I don't know I was like I don't know what I did with it but here it is oh no it's not in there it's in this other bag I know I really thought I was organized this morning so um, again it's out of this Rosetti Allure yarn that I found it Tuesday morning um, it's a 50 gram ball it's 109 yards and it's a number five bulky it has 34% wool 34% acrylic 18% polyamide and 14% glitter and the color of this is called Nero and it's this black and gray and white and I just I'm just kind of playing around I just did you know like a single crochet band and then I did a double crochet I'm sorry treble crochet around and left some little spaces which is fine and then I'm gonna do um, double crochet I think for the rest of it you know I'm just playing around with it I just wanted to use the yarn pardon my bend <laughs> I dropped my hook you know that's dangerous you don't want to drop those hooks and not be able to find them uh, my other work in progress I'm making croobs I don't know if you guys know what those are you can spell them c-r-o-o-b or k-r-o-o-b depending on if you're knitting or crocheting them I'm crocheting them Croobs are crocheted boobs. I hope this doesn't offend anybody. But once it's stuffed, it looks like a breast. And we actually use them at work. Uh, we're going to be giving them out to moms to help teach breastfeeding. So that's something that I can contribute easily. It's made out of Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, the pattern, I don't remember the lady who did the pattern, but it's C-R-O-O-B. It's a free pattern. You can find it online. Um, and so I got to stuff that one and then get to work on making some more. Not everybody breastfeeds and not everybody needs that kind of a 
education model to help them with it but if they do we're gonna have those for them so that's something they asked me to do my other work in progress I started on my Celtic cable cardigan which is out of my Celtic cable crochet book by Bonnie Barker um, so I did start on it on Monday um, this is what it's gonna look like when it's done I love it it's beautiful and I'm using my Wendy with wool Aran yarn that my dear friend Mary in Ireland sent me it's um, a 400 grams and it is 20% wool and 80% acrylic and it's really it's soft but man once you start working it up it really feels soft and so um, this is how much I have done <laughs> this is the back panel you know this is all front and back post double crochet and then um, you know I can't talk a whole lot it's a paid pattern I'm not going to talk a whole lot about what it is but look at my cables I know that might be hard to see but they really look like cables and I really like even just this plain you know whatever filler stitch you do in between I really like the way that looks too anyway that's as much as I've done of the back panel I think I'm on about a row I think I'm about halfway through the back panel maybe not it looks like it should be a lot longer anyway I do have like this little hole here I don't know why I have that little gap there um, but I'm not tearing it out to figure it out I'll fix it when I'm done or something anyway love the pattern I'm not gonna say it's not challenging it is but it's much it's going much better than I anticipated with my level of learning I mean I've only been crocheting it'll be a year next month and so I feel like considering my time crocheting that it's not going too bad it does say confident beginner to intermediate and I consider myself pretty much there so that's good um, acquisitions I found some more of this Rosetti Allure at Tuesday morning I already have like I said the black and gray and white and then I have some purple tones well this was brown and so I got three of those the other day when I was there just because my husband was bored again and wanted to get out of the house and said hey let's go to Tuesday morning and you know he knows if we go to Tuesday morning I'm buying some yarn so that's just the way it works um, it's got the same composition as that other that I'm making the hat out of uh, I have <laughs> my daughter years ago got me a bank that is a ceramic mystery machine you know from Scooby-Doo and so I tend to throw all my change in it on a pretty daily basis and then once it gets full then I empty it out and you know sometimes I use it for something vacationy or whatever but this time I decided I was going to use it to buy some yarn so um, I emptied it out and went and took it to the little machine you know at the Walmart that you put all your change into and then it tells you how much it is and you go to the cashier and they give you cash so you have bills instead of tons of change um, so I didn't realize this yarn was on sale when I bought it or I could have gotten more I went to our local yarn shop which is called the knitting nook this is their little logo um, it's in Owasso about 20 minutes down the road and it's really nice the people that work there are really sweet most of them the people who are there are knitters they have little knitting groups and stuff like that but they have invited me to come and sit and crochet with them they don't care if I crochet or knit so I picked up this uh, Cascade 220 super wash I got two in this it's really a gold color that the lighting in here doesn't do it justice I got two of the gold color and I got two of the burgundy and it's really burgundy it doesn't look that kind of makes it look like a washed out red but it's a really pretty burgundy 
Um, it is 100% superwash wool, 100 grams, and there are 220 yards. You can machine wash, tumble dry. Cascade is based out of Seattle. I know this yarn is not made in Seattle. Um, and I don't see a color. I guess it's just a number. 6117. 6114. Yeah, they're just numbers. They're not colors. Anyway, they were regular $10.99, but when I got up to the register, they did 30% off. And I don't know if that's because I've purchased there before and you get a discount for being a repeat customer. Uh, but they ended up being... Um, Well, it was uh, I got thirteen dollars off. So anyway, um, I had those four skeins of yarn, four balls of yarn. Um, I don't know for sure. I think the plan is to make a hat and scarf set. I must have been channeling Hogwarts when I went in there because those are Gryffindor colors if ever I saw them. So, you know, I just, number one, my husband was with me and he does not get that, you know, again, I'm like Mrs. Whipple. I want to squeeze all the yarn in the yarn shop and I want to look at all the colors and I, then I want to go back through and decide what I want. So it wasn't like I could do that. I didn't get to go through the whole shop and look at everything. I had to go to where the yarns were. I knew that I would probably buy and pick colors. And you know, by the time I picked those, he was about to lose his mind, uh, even though we'd only been in the shop maybe five minutes, okay? It's no fun to shop with him. It's just not, it's, you know, he's not a shopper. His thing is you go in, you get what you want, you get out. So there you go. So I probably will, if I decide to make something bigger, like a shawl or something, I'll have to go back and get more, but I'll just try to go by myself. The last time I went in there, I went by myself, and I mean, I was there for an hour deciding what I wanted. And I know that sounds a little extreme, but I'd never been in the shop before, and it was all, you know, overwhelming because. You know, when you go to Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Michael's, not that there's anything bad about those places. I have lots of yarn from those places. But you know what to expect when you go in there. There's not usually anything different. You know, if there is, there's maybe one or two different styles. But when you go into a local yarn shop, there can be yarn from everywhere, even from local people, you know, and indie dyers and things like that. And so you just, you have to look at it all, right? I don't know. I do anyway um, that's pretty much my acquisitions I never did show my Christmas cards before Christmas I was a bad podcaster and so I know it's January 10th but we're gonna do that anyway now first of all uh, my sweet friend Mary Grace had contacted me she's the ambidextrous crafter on YouTube she had contacted me about sending me some teas and so she sent me this lovely letter and then she sent me this baggie full of loose leaf teas and they're all different flavors that she picked out because she thought I would like them they all have instructions on how to steep them uh, one of them is jasmine pearl green tea one of them is French kiss which is strawberry and mango for flavor and it's P-U-E-R-H I don't know how to pronounce that um, and then there's a chocolate peppermint which is a black tea flavored with peppermint I like peppermint so that's great um, there's two of the chocolate peppermints but anyway I thought that was really nice of her and I've been saving that to show you guys and so I haven't had any of it yet <laughs> so now I can go drop some of that in some hot water and let it steep and have some delicious tea. Thank you, Mary Grace. That was really sweet of you. Um, I'm only showing you this card. This is actually from Chewy.com, but I just thought it was too cute. It has all these dogs on it and cats. <laughs> yeah, I just 
I wanted to show you because I thought it was really cute. I got other cards from friends and stuff, but this is all basically just my Yarny friends. So this one is from Grace at GB Maltese. Um, she's my sweet friend that crochets and she also does diamond painting. She's got some cute little puppies. She's a dog lover too. Um, this one is from Cindy at Cindy Hearts Crochet. Isn't that sweet? I can't, I don't see the one from Desiree. Desiree at Dizzy Sit just sent me one too and I don't see it in my stack. Um, I had to take them all down before Christmas because my quilt that I had them all pinned to kept falling down off the, the command strips kept falling down and it kept falling into the floor and so I finally just took them all off and stacked them up. And it may be that that one is laying in there somewhere, I don't know. This one is from Ellen and Devin and Jesse from Ella, sorry, not Ellen, Ella at No Catchy Name, little penguin, that's really cute. Uh, and then this one is the one that Claudia from Crochet Luna designed. So, you know, this is her sheep mystery that Claudia did. So these are limited edition. So I have a limited edition Claudia <laughs> Crochet Luna card, which I thought was really cool. I guess you could see the ones I sent out are limited edition too. I only made 40 of them. <laughs> Uh, and I still have a few left. And like I said, some people may get some of those next year. Um, and that's really all I have today. So it's short and sweet. Um, I know a lot of people are doing this 10 Things You Don't Know About Me um, podcast that's been challenged. I don't think that I've been challenged to do it so far. And I'm probably <laughs> not going to do it. I feel like I talk enough about myself in my videos that people know about me. So, um, you know, if there's something extra special you want to know about me and, you know, you want to ask and it's not something that I mind divulging, I don't think anybody would ask anything too super personal or anything. So if you have questions, you can send me one uh, in the comments or you can email me uh, at joyousmidwifecj at gmail.com. Uh, you can send me a letter or a card or whatever. Uh, and my address is, I try to list it below every time I do a podcast. Uh, I will say, I just have to give a shout out to Mary at Mary's Crochet Chit Chat. Okay, so Mary and I have become friends through uh, Seta's Yarn Swap. And, you know, we kind of message back and forth and say things. And then, of course, she'll say things on her videos and stuff and I try to say what I want to on mine too and she's so funny because she's like you know if you want a professional edited podcast you may as well move on to the next person because that's not what this is I'm not going to edit any of this out and I'm kind of with her if if I have something major when I'm making a video I just delete it and start a new video because I just don't take the time to edit it and it's not because I don't care it's just because once I get done with a video, I want to upload it because I want to tell, I want to hear what people have to say and, you know, and, and I, you know, this is my way of communicating with my friends on YouTube and it's a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying it and I just want to get it uploaded and get going. Um, I'm actually getting ready to head out the door here in a few minutes for a very long shift at work and I wanted to get this done today because I know when I get home tomorrow morning I am not going to feel like doing a podcast because I'm going to be crazy tired and my hair is going to be a mess. As much of a mess as this little bit of hair can be. I got it cut yesterday so it's like all gone. Um, Anyway, you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week, and take care, and God bless each one of you. Bye.